In today's video, I'm gonna show you the top MacBook gestures in here so you can actually take advantage of your MacBook and use your fingers the right way in order to be more productive and do a lot more with your fingers here on your MacBook. We've got a lot of gestures in here which have been configured by default by Apple themselves. I'm gonna show you how to use them and as well, I'm gonna show you how to configure and create your own customized gestures in here if you wanna increase your productivity and do a lot more here on your MacBook. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks and fixes as well. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel so you do not miss my next video. Without any further delay, let's jump straight into today's tutorial. So here we go. In my case, I've gotten here a MacBook Pro 2019, but if you've got a different MacBook, do not worry as long as you're running the updated versions of softwares you'll be able to use gestures the same way I'll be using in this video so I'll be talking about the most common and the most useful gestures in here that you've got on your MacBook device so first things first without any further ado let's start with a single click which is something very very basic okay so the very first thing that we'll be talking about is a simple click okay by simple Simply using your trackpad you've got your mouse in here you want to select something simply tap once on it it's gonna select it okay you can simply tap anywhere you wish to tap now if you want to open up something for example I've got this picture in here if I wish to open it up all I need to do is simply double tap by tapping twice on the trackpad and this should open up the screenshot that I've just double tapped on this can be a screenshot this can be an application this can be a folder for example let me quickly close this up let's say that hey I want to open up this folder in here okay simply double tap and here we go we've got that specific folder opening up now next up let me quickly close the folder and let's say that I wish to select a couple of files or folders right if I wish to select it's very simple all I need to do is simply tap and then drag the other finger in order to keep on selecting different files so suppose I want to select all these four files in here this is how it goes I'm gonna tap with my left finger I'm tapping and then the other finger will simply be dragging okay in order to keep on selecting all the files and then I'm gonna release it all the files are now selected and suppose let's say that I wish to copy for example all these files what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to one of these files for example and then I'm gonna do the right click in order to do a right click in here we just need to tap but with two fingers simultaneously on the trackpad okay I'm currently selected to all these four files I'm gonna perform a right click here we go two fingers tapping and this will bring us the right click option and I can now copy all these files or share or delete or duplicate or move to the bin or do anything that I wish to do okay let me quickly tap here on the desktop to deselect all those files so this is how we do the right click here on our MacBook device two fingers this is how it goes we've got the right click over there opened and we're good to go this is how easy it is to do the right click now if you want to go for something much advanced okay let's start by bringing up the launch pad so as we know launch pad right here at the bottom this is like our menu where we've got all the apps in here which we are able to actually use them right for example I've got the launch pad in here we've got all the apps in here right so in order to quickly bring up the launch pad we've got four fingers we're gonna close okay this is how it goes closing okay if we close the fingers this is gonna bring up the launch pad let's quickly close the launch pad four fingers quickly opening it this is how it goes four fingers opening it no more launch pad this is how easy it is and you can also do it with five fingers if you're more comfortable in using five fingers most of the times I use five fingers this is how it goes launch pad launch pad is gone and this is something that you can do even if you've got something on top open okay for example let's say that I've got Safari in here I'm navigating into google.com I'm doing my research in here let's say Lodem Ipsum I'm navigating but I say okay let me just quickly open up the calculator okay bring up the launch pad here we go and then simply open up calculator here we go and I'm being 
much productive by using this method right here now let's move further okay the next thing i'm going to show you is for example suppose we've got multiple apps opened okay i've got my safari over here let's say that i've got for example a voice memos here on top okay it's an application continue i've got voice memos in here let's say that on top of that i've got for example settings opened in here okay and then on top of settings suppose let's say that i've got for example app store opened here on top i've got four to five apps all opened okay and let's say that i want to access for example the voice memos app i've got Many apps and it's hard for me to find because one is at the back of the other right so in order for you to get a good representation of all opened or all launched softwares with three fingers you can simply swipe up okay this is how it goes three fingers swipe up and you'll be able to see all opened or all launched softwares separated all over there right I've got in here voice memos I've got Safari I've got App Store I've got my settings over there. Let's say that I want to open up voice memos. Here we go. Boom. Simply tap on voice memos and you're good to go. Voice memos will pass to the very first page right there. This is the very first software that I'm going to be looking at. So this is how easy it is. Now, if you want to have things much organized, you can create multiple desktops. That's very, very, very useful. For example, suppose that I want to create a second desktop with a second application on full screen. Very easy. Simply three fingers up again. Okay, and then over here at the top, if you bring your cursor, you'll be able to see desktop one. Okay, so this is the very first desktop. At the moment, I only have one desktop turned on. So if I tap here in this plus icon at the top right corner, I can create a second desktop. Okay, so I've got a second desktop in here and then I can tap here on desktop two. This will bring me to the second desktop. Now, once I'm here on the second desktop, I can open up something else. For example, let's quickly say that I'm gonna open up the calendar here on the second desktop, okay? So this is the calendar. Let's say that I'm gonna go full screen, okay? I'm on full screen, I'm using my calendar, and let's say that I wanna go back to the desktop one. I've got two ways of doing this. I can simply swipe up three fingers, here we go, three fingers, and then I can select the desktops there at the top. It even actually created a third desktop because I went into full screen, okay? For example, let me just quickly remove full screen, okay? Three fingers up, I've got in here at the top two desktops, okay? So I can go to desktop one by selecting desktop one and I can then swipe up, three fingers up, select desktop two. Now, if you wanna take things to the next level, you wanna go back to desktop one, three fingers, slide, to the right here we go sliding to the right i'm on desktop one and then sliding back to the left three fingers we've got the second desktop and you can create as many desktops as you can okay three fingers up here we go new desktop right here let me open up for example photos okay on desktop three and then let me quickly go full screen this will create me the fourth uh, desktop when you go full screen it automatically creates a new desktop. so i'm here on desktop four three fingers left I can go to desktop three, desktop two, desktop one, and you can actually do a lot with this. For example, you can have all these apps, for example, a single app on a single desktop. That's very useful. You're actually navigating, for example, let's say that I'm over here, I'm navigating, I'm on my email, for example, I'm responding to something and I wish to check my calendar. Simply swipe right, I'm on my calendar, swipe left, I'm continuing my work, swipe right, calendar, left i'm back to my email for example so this is how easy it is and how useful it is now if you want to simply close all those desktops simply three fingers swipe it up and then come here simply tap on x to close all these extra desktops in here and then you're back to the main desktop in here. Now, another cool hack in here, for example, if you wish to bring up the notification center in here, it's very easy, okay? As we know, if we tap here on date, it's gonna show up the notification, right? But you can also do this with two fingers. If you have two fingers coming here from the left all the way into the trackpad, this should bring us the notification here. Here we go. And then to close it, two fingers out. Okay, it should be from outside to inside. If you do it here, sometimes it might not work. It should be as if you're going into the trackpad and you're going out of the trackpad. You wanna close the notification center back there. Now, another cool thing, for example, if you're navigating 
you're reading something online let's say that i'm actually on this website and i'm actually reading something okay here we go we've got a text in here and you wish to zoom you can actually use your fingers to pinch in and out right so by pinching it in pinching it out you can actually zoom a specific text let me quickly zoom it here for example two fingers you can easily zoom and get access to a specific text over there. And you can use the same two fingers to actually move around, okay? For example, if you want to go down, two fingers, two fingers up, two fingers to the left, to the right, and then you can use the same two fingers to pinch out, okay? Pinching out will actually zoom out from that specific text, okay? Simply tap once on it, here we go. We've zoomed out so you can get a better representation of your specific text, okay? So this is how easy it is for you to pinch in and pinch out with your two fingers now you can also customize the gestures in here by hopping into settings at the top left corner we've got in here uh, the apple logo and then you've got system settings in here so once you tap on system settings down here if you scroll down with two fingers right you've got an option which says trackpad down here so over here you can customize for example point and click tab we've got the tracking speed the speed of the trackpad we've got the click if you want it to be light or firm okay and other sensors in here we've got scroll and zoom which will allow you to actually turn on a few features or off other features and then you've got in here more gestures as well which will allow you to actually do a lot more in here you can customize you can create other gestures as well this is how easy it is to use your trackpad and these are the top and most common and most productive gestures in here that you can use in order to increase your productivity if you find my content useful consider subscribing like the video and let me know in the comment section which gesture you found out to be the most interesting one thank you so much for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day